Hey guys, Quinny again from Micrographics Devon, Application Engineer. So today I'm going to show you something that's actually extremely useful that not a lot of people know about on their systems when they're installing any Autodesk product. Is that one of the things, and if you're actually watching carefully, it's one of the very last things that gets installed, is the Autodesk Application Manager, or otherwise known as the Autodesk Desktop App. Now, with this, it's quite an interesting piece of software because, as you'd probably guess why I call it management, because it manages um, your installations, bits and pieces, etc. Now, I've got it open here in front of me, but firstly, how do I get to this tool? Well, by default, if you look in your hidden icons down here on the bottom right, so if you look for your clock, expand your hidden icons, and you should see what looks like a green and blue A. Normally, if you haven't used this before, you'll see a little orange thing in the corner. You might not see that if your system is up to date. But it is a smaller version of that over there. You can actually see I've got it on my desktop. So you double click it and it pops up. If it is not there and you don't have an, a shortcut, don't worry. Just quickly click your start button on the bottom left in your taskbar. And then type in either desk or you can type an Autodesk desktop app, anything like that. And then it should show to you on your start bar. Now that we're here and we're in here, well, why am I showing you guys this? Well, number one, you can go to your um, products and then you can install the product directly from here. So which is pretty actually helpful because you can just go like, let's say AutoCAD ME, MEP 2021 and hit, firstly, I agree, of course, look at the terms and conditions, please, and then hit install. And then that will take you through the installation process. Basically, it streams down all the information to your system and then it installs it as a web install. Um, there's another way to also do things, but I'll get to that in a sec. So just bear in mind, we can now install directly from this, but it will then put it to your local system. So once you've got your stuff installed, one of the other things you're going to want to do is manage it. In other words, you can use your My Updates. So we had Products and Tools on the left. We go to My Updates. You can actually see that there is updates sitting here waiting for me. Most of my products don't need because I always keep them up to date. But as you can see over here, that there is a Autodesk licensing service update. Now, for, if you ever see licensing updates, I highly suggest going for them because they will make your life a lot easier. Now, the reason why is because if you don't, what this is going to do is it's going to maybe give you issues when you are trying to um, log in. As for an instance, you can actually see, let's get started dialogue um, includes a troubleshooting article for users in case of connectivity issues. These connectivity issues may also be for things like firewalls or proxies, that type of stuff. So it's always good, especially when you come to my products and updates, check for any licensing servers and make sure that those are updated as soon as possible. Also, hot fixes um, for your different programs, security fixes, always a good idea. Plus also some of these things, they're not just to fix the program sometimes. So if you're adopting a, if it ain't broke, don't fix policy, it may not be applicable because some of them extends the ability of the program itself. In 2018, they released the ability to scan PDF directly, well, sorry, not scan, my apologies, take a vector PDF and directly import it into AutoCAD, so with all its line data, etc. And what they did then is for the 2017 version is they also extended the capability that it could also do that just a bit of history there so it is always a good idea to keep your programs up to date now moving along you can see if i click on one of my products that i've got installed you can see the information but if i did have updates they would be displayed down here at the bottom in fact my recap may have something no it doesn't show at the moment for some reason it is showing on the one but not the other you can see recap photo okay that being said the this thing i'm hoping that you can already see can be very helpful for managing your programs already but there's a few little cool tools over here 
If you come over here to the top right and use the drop down, what you can do is you can go to account details, which tells you a little bit about your account. Yep, that's me, Quinn Kennedy, my email if you need. But what you can also do is you can click access my complete list of products. And what this will do is it will launch a web browser and take you directly to your Autodesk account. And then you just have to sign in, etc. from there. So yeah, it's busy loading in. I'm not gonna show you that right away, but basically this is what you can see. Okay, got it, and there's all my products available to me. Okay, so once that's just how you can get to there. I'm gonna use the drop down again. And in here we've also got settings, and in our settings, we've got some interesting stuff here as well. Firstly, things like where's our default installation, sorry, default downloads folder access files from a shared directory. This is very handy because if we're one of many people, instead of having everybody going and bombing onto that connection and trying to download and uh, stream all this data, what you can do is have one person do it first and basically they just download maybe all the AutoCAD components, somebody downloads all the Revit components or maybe one person's doing all these downloads. And this can also all be accessed via a central location. So if one person downloads it, the rest benefits as well. Notifications, land stuff, etc. Pretty much straightforward. Installation, primary languages, um, where do you want it installed, etc. Also pretty straightforward if you just read it. And then if you do have any proxies, firewalls, that type of stuff, you can put it in there. Okay, so those are the main things I just wanted to show you. Uh, you can also sign out if you want. So this is actually a very handy thing, very underrated tool. Not a lot of people seem to be using it. Yeah, I've got, got another thing I'm going to be doing right now. It's also about install and another way you can also install it. Please look for that YouTube later. Otherwise, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and subscribe. Otherwise, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Cheerio. Bye.